Hi guys, welcome. Welcome to the PPGYT, People Place Gym. Uh, my name is Chris, and today we're gonna do a lower body mobility workout. I will be your guide in this. Uh, the only th equipment what you need is just yourself and uh, your body. Let's start in three, two, one. So we, today we're gonna start not standing, but in a seated position. So we're gonna squat. So we're gonna move our toes slightly out, same for the heels. And we're gonna squat low as possible. So I'm gonna drop my hips all the way down, much as possible. If your heels are kind of lifted off the floor, that's totally fine, because there I want to work on uh, in this mobility uh, routine. Ideally, I want to place my heels on the floor. I'm going to draw my knees out. And the first exercise is already started. It's a deep squat position. So we try to get more comfortable in the squatting. So that's a knee bend. So try, try to bend them as much uh, as possible. I'm going to start with the first exercise. I'm going to place your elbows between our knees and I start to press into my palms to open up my hips to create a little bit more space for that. Meanwhile, I'm holding my feet on the floor and pushing my knees back into my elbows and I'm going to move my knees. I'm going to push my knees back to the side. I'm going to repeat this for 10 repetitions. So knees in, knees out. Also a really nice way to warm up for squatting. So if you practice, are you doing fitness or strength training when you do a squat, this is really also a nice way to warm up for that. Let's do five more. Roll the shoulders back, lift the chest for four. For three. For two. And the last one. All right, now I'm gonna move my left shoulder on the inside of my left knee. I'm gonna place my right hand on the other knee, so my right hand on my right knee. And let's see if we can create a little bit more space here. So I'm also searching for a nice stretch here on the inside. And maybe you can extend the arm and move him back in. So we squat, start with a squatting sequence or routine. After that, I want to take care also of the feet, the ankles, and also on the lower body, the hips are quite important. And let's see how far you can go. And try to push it even more to the side. Last four reps. Maybe extend a little bit more if you can. If not, that's totally okay. Two more. The last one, try to pause for a moment for 10 seconds. So I'm gonna push my knee out. I'm gonna extend my arm even more, holding for five. And just keep breathing naturally, four, three, two, and one. Really nice way to open up that hip, and also release some tension of your lower back. Shifting to the other side, right shoulder on the inside. You can also extend that arm if you want. Left hand, and just start small. And if it feels good or comfortable, try to extend the elbow even more to open the left hip. Like you're flossing that hip. Also 10 repetitions on this side. For five. Four. Three. Two. And the last one, hold for 10 seconds. Extend your arm a little bit more, push it to the side and just hold. Keep breathing, five. Four, three, two, and back to the center. So we're staying on a stay in a squat for the next exercise. I really like this one. This is also from the knee, so it's also slightly upper body, but in a low position. Grab your ankle with your left hand, your right ankle, wrap it around. I'm gonna move my left, right elbow on top of my shoulder and I start to extend the arm. So side stretching my body and back. An extra option, 
touch the floor and extend for two let's do five of these for three nice side stretch for four and the last one we're gonna hold for 10 seconds feet on the floor draw the knees out keep breathing chin to shoulder and try to look up face relaxed hold for five four three two and one switching sides grab the other ankle maybe elbow is moving to the floor and let's try to rotate both shoulders on top of each other and try to extend that arm T-spine opener also for the upper body between the shoulder blades for three four and the last one I'm gonna hold it upwards for 10 seconds so I'm gonna push my knees out feet on the floor and I just start to look up yes keep breathing shoulders on top of each other for three two and one slowly back down from here I'm gonna move my toes forward so I'm gonna turn so you can see it better from the other side so the feet on the floor I'm gonna shift forward this exercise will improve your lower body mobility and strengthening the knees balancing on the ball of your feet and now try to touch the mat soft touch on the floor so from here this is one line feet ankle and knee sitting bones on the heels if i lean back and feel a nice stretch on my quads now i try to balance and i try to shift back to the squat maybe with the feet or heels on the floor maybe not that depends on your mobility shifting forward so it's not falling forward soft touch and shift back yeah so it doesn't look like this yeah so from here try to work with that control if it's too much or you find it really difficult just use your fingers to assist or your hands like this so you're creating a dorsiflexion here in the ankle so it could be a little sensitive if you do it for the first time just move slowly controlled movements soft touch on the floor back to the toe stretch yes let's do the last four soft touch and back for three soft touch and back last two shouldn't be painful at all in your joints just to create better movement better range of motion yes, to make it even more fluent now from here my toes are tucked under now you can see already where I'm gonna add maybe for a moment extend one leg and just shake the tension off same for the other and then we do one of my favorite exercises and that's the toe stretch so I'm pushing my heels back into my heels and I try to lift up the big toes so creating that flexion here in my big toe I'm gonna bring my knees more together and I try to stay over here now I can imagine it feels a little bit sensitive you can also shift forward if you want to have a little bit more shift a little bit more backwards let's stay there I'm so gonna do this for around 60 seconds important here try to stay relaxed use the breath with the exhalation I try to allow myself to be here in this uncomfortable position soften the shoulders straighten the back and even try to lift up your big toes and the reason why I do this and why this is so important if you want to improve your posture yes it start or the first connection what we have on the floor is with our feet so that's the reason why it's also really important to take care of these joints the feet the toes the ankles to improve your posture you have to create stronger uh, feet uh, this will help you also with walking and if you're running this helps will also improve your mobility in your toes Let's take five seconds. Four, three, two, and one. All right. Extend the legs, maybe shake it out, the tension. Release it. 
And from the feet, we move in to the ankles. So that's all connected. So from here, I'm gonna lift up my knees. You can start like this. So you can feel a stretch on the front side of the ankle. Hold it for three seconds and slow it down. As I practice this quite often. You can also replace your hands backwards and lift the knees even more upwards. Depends a little bit on your level, but just feel what, good, what feels good for you. Just lift, hold, and just slowly down. So you can feel the stretch. You can also do it like this. Hold, and feeling the stretch. Last five. And back for four. Maybe a little bit higher, even a toe stretch. Up to you for three. For two. And the last one, we're gonna hold again for 10 seconds. So I'm gonna lift and just stay here. Keep breathing. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. One, great. Now from here, maybe it's a good idea again to extend the legs and shake all the tension off. Feet, ankles, and the toes. Same for the other leg. Always nice to have a shake on the muscles, like you're giving yourself a massage. And now we're gonna integrate these movements. So I'm gonna make it a whole. So I'm gonna tuck my toes under. I'm shifting back. I try to lift up my knees, try to balance on the feet. And slowly, and there we are again into the squat. Now let's see if how the squat is feeling right now. Maybe you can feel some different sensations around the ankles. Maybe you can feel a little bit more space over here on the front side of the ankle. So we try to improve this squatting uh, position. Yes. Let's uh, integrate it, like I said, let's make it a whole. So from here, let's find a hamstring stretch first. So I'm gonna extend my knees. I try to hold my belly quite close to my upper legs. I'm grabbing my ankles. You can also grab the elbows like this, what you prefer. Elbows out, forehead down. Now from here, I start to extend my knees a little bit more. I'm holding for three, two, one. And finding a deep squat again. Yes, four more times. Extending the knees, drop the forehead, elbows out. So try to move those legs like this. Yes, so try to create length to the lower back and back to squat. Lift the chest, that's it, nice. Last three, next ten, drop. Relax your forehead, relax your neck. Feel the hamstring stretch. Back to squat, lift the chest, two more. Drop, stretching the hamstrings. Back to squat, one more. Just hang, optional grab, elbows out, forehead down. Hold for 10, sink a little deeper. Keep breathing for five, four, three, two, one. From the hip hinge, to a knee bend, back to squat. From the squatting to touching the floor. From touching the floor, toe stretch. From the toe stretch, back to the knees. From the knees, into the ankles. From the ankles, shifting forward. Tuck the toes under, back to squat. So you're finding or squat routine. Extend the knees, forward fold, back to the squat. And I'm gonna turn from this side so you can place your hands on the mat. All right, extend the legs and just start to shake them out. Also, maybe nice to massage your uh, knees, kneecaps. Could be a little sensitive over there. So we had that squat routine with toe stretching, make create stronger feet. 
ankles, knees, but also hips. So the next exercise will be for uh, the hips. I'm gonna start in a butterfly position. So I'm gonna bring my feet, soles of my feet together. I'm gonna shift a little bit more forward so my sitting bones are closer to my heels. I start to grab my toes for a moment and I just push the knees a little bit more to the side. Like we did in a squat, but now we're sitting on the, on the floor. And I wanted to create a rotation for my hips. So when I talk about mobility, we don't need only flexibility, also searching for some coordination, and I mean the joint and the muscles. We're also searching for some strength, for example, to lift our hold up position or to lift up uh, a leg, what I'm gonna do next. So uh, the last thing is control. So all these four points, flexibility, strength, coordination and control uh, all these things together we call uh, mobility. So from here, I'm gonna lift up my right leg and try to lift it off the floor like this. Now I'm gonna move it all the way back without touching the floor. Now from here, I'm gonna drop it down and I try to sit up straight so I don't wanna lean too much to the side. Imagine there's a wall against your left shoulder so I can't lean to the side. So my hip has to work way harder. Yes, I'm trying to flex up my toes. I'm lifting up my feet first, lifting up the knee, I'm rotating, and with the exhale, I bring it back four more times. Try to work with that control. So lift the leg, maybe you can also lift the arms, hold the sitting bones as much as possible on the floor. Slowly down, soft tap. Maybe it feels even like cramping, that's good, because you're working on that strength. Lift the feet, lift the knee, Rotate and place it back. Three more. Lift, rotate and place it down. Softly landing. Lift the feet, lift the knee, rotate and back. Good. So try to do your best. Hold the feet off the floor. Two more to go. Squeeze, make strong fists, lift the chest, activate the leg, activate the muscles around it. Soft touch on the floor, lift the feet, lift the knee, and back. Good, one more. Lift and rotate, do your best. Lower down, lift it up, and back to center. All right, maybe shake the legs for a moment, or grab that muscle. Just lifting up the legs with a hip flexor, or the muscle around it. You can massage it with your fingers or knuckles. And then let me also have to do the other side. Maybe this side feels totally different. Try to be, or work hard. So try to do your best, lift the arms, make strong fist. Lift from here, lift the leg. Sitting bones on the floor and just slowly, I'm gonna bring it back. So I have two kind of hooks here of 90 degree angle. Lift the feet, rotate and back without touching the floor for two. Lift, rotate, lift the feet, lift the knee, and bring it back. That's it, nice. Three more. Lift, rotate, lift, and exhale. Last two. Lift, and rotate, lift, and bring it back, good. This is hard work, you can do it. One more, lift, rotate, lift, and bring it back, good. Relax the arms, relax the hips. From this angle, I'm gonna turn to one side. All that shift back to squat. A little challenge here. So from here, I try to go up into a squat position, just how we started, but maybe without using your hands. And we back to our starting position. The deep squat, place your elbows between your knees, roll the shoulders back. So this was a 20 minute squat routine 
with some hip mobility. So focus on the, the lower body to take care of the feet, joints and all the muscles. So thank you very much for joining. Don't forget to subscribe or see other videos on our YouTube channel. Have a nice day.